actually the entire first kings was a book of conflict, a book of war, a book of rumors of war. Oh, bless the Lord Jesus. And verse 21, first kings chapter 18 and verse 21. And Elijah came unto the people and said, How long ought she be between to obedience? Mm -hmm. If the Lord be God, follow him. If Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him, Not a word. In the time of David, David had one aim, one focus, one desire was to defeat the enemies of the Lord God. And his whole purpose, his whole mission was I hate them that hate thee, O God. It's all over the sun. I hate them that hate thee, O oh God. I hate them. Oh, do I hate them. I hate them with perfect hatred. My God. So you cannot see no means of turning from the one true God in David. Mm. David turned in some little ways away from the Lord and his statutes. But as for turning away from the commands of the Lord and serving other gods, there was no sign of that in David. David had no bone of that in him. My God. Come on. That's it. My God. Hallelujah. Might as well preach. Sometimes I wonder how a man can have attraction for another man. How is he going to be turned on? What is in the other man that you should desire him? Oh, Jesus. Oh, My God! And God had to help me with that one. Go ahead, bro. Preach it. Because I hated them, Brother Miguel. And he cannot move right as a child of God. He cannot drive you. He cannot push you. He cannot be the active force, ingredients in your soul. Because the wrath of God, my God, does not display the love of God. The wrath of man, sorry, does not display the love of God. When we exercise wrath, anger, hatred, the love of God is nowhere in that. When we want to vent ourselves and show everybody we can get angry and show everybody there's another side to us, God has no path, no lot in that matter. But when we decide to humble ourselves and say, you know what, I'm going to take a back seat on that one. Now, that's when God is glorified. He said, vengeance is mine. I will repay, say of the Lord. You cannot fight your battles for yourself uh, and expect God to get the glory. <laughs> but if you want God to get some glory in your life, my God, is there anybody in here today uh, that want God to get some glory? Uh, well, it's time to take a back seat uh, and take a prayer position uh, and say, God, I put this in your hands. Uh, God, I put that in your hands. Uh, God, it's time for you to show up uh, in my situation. Uh, I've been handling it for a long time, my God. So David fought a lot of battles. But Solomon, his son, after him, he asked God for wisdom. My God. And the Bible says he gives us power to get wealth. And that power is wisdom. It's principal faith. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask God. Who give it to every man liberally. 
So Solomon asked for wisdom. And God gave him wisdom. And he became the richest king of Israel. Richest king in his time. But Solomon was not like his father David. In that he married a lot of women. Strange women. Amen. He married Egyptian wives. He married foreign wives. And the foreign wives. That's why the Bible tells the children of God to not be unequally yoked to unbelievers. And we think it's marriage alone. Uh, it's not marriage alone. Uh, we can walk together if we don't agree. Uh, we must agree in order to walk together. Uh, that's why the old folks like to say, show me your friends. Uh, and I will tell you who you are. Uh, because my God, if you can walk with them, that means you can tolerate their conversation. You just like them. The Bible says evil communication corrupt good manners. So if you have some good manners, Sister Rosa, when you start communicating with them and their evil communication, you soon become like them. Why? Because remember, I tell you, the old man, he doesn't really die. What happens, you can bring him under subjection. Yes. You can bring him under subjection, sister. But the lust and the desires, they will go to the grave with you. You have to make up in your mind. Every day, take up your cross and follow him. He doesn't go in one day. Yeah, you can't even allow 
lies upon lies. Yes. Bible say, in the last days they will hit to themselves preachers because they have itching ears. They want the preacher to tell them what they want to hear. I can't tell you what you want to hear. I want to preach what thus saith the Lord God Almighty. If I can't preach Jesus, I might as well pack it up. Let every man be alive and God be true. If you can't live the life, don't turn it and twist it. Oh, if you can't live the life, don't turn it to suit you. Might as well keep up. Might as well surrender. My God, I was telling to somebody the other day. They said they feel like they're on the cross. I said, why are you on the cross? Just go ahead and die. Because if there's no crucifixion, there's no resurrection. He must be crucified that he can be resurrected the first day. We got to die. We got to die. We got to die. Hallelujah. Some part of us must go. Oh yeah, some part of us must be under subjection. We must tell the devil where to go. Somebody must be a Daniel. Somebody must stand in the fire. Somebody must shut up the mouth of the lion. My God, somebody must say, for could I live, for could I die. They no giving up. Got to go on. Oh Jesus. So Solomon, the leader of Israel, set them up in fornication, idolatry, against the one true God. Hallelujah. And so for that, God said, I'm going to see the them, the kingdom. Because for my sake and servant David's sake, I can't take all of it. Oh, bless the Lord. Pastor was saying, what day was, Pastor? Was saying, that your seed will be blessed as a righteous man. Because David said, I have been young, now I'm old. Never seen the righteous forsaken. No, he's seen bare bread. He doesn't say that his seed is righteous. One man is righteous. Amen. And that man's seed being blessed. And because of David, God cannot kill Solomon. Uh, how many of you want your children to be blessed? Want your house to be blessed? Want your generation to be blessed? Just stay right. Just walk right. Just talk right. I'm not doing it for myself. I'm doing it for my children. Hallelujah. Jesus 
master, teacher, rabbi. Her brother, he told the disciples, seek him first. I know I'm getting somewhere now. Somebody understand what I'm saying? Seek him first. My God. That's why a lot of people have it twisted and tell you you're not supposed to be blessed. The devil is a liar. You're supposed to be blessed. You're supposed to be, oh yes, the head and not the tail. The lender and not my God. They're supposed to come to you for the answer. Not you going to them. And all these things that the world is seeking after. All these things that Solomon wanted. I will give them to you. My God, I shouldn't be going back, but we have to touch David a little bit. David sought the Lord first. He seek God in all his doing. What God had to say. Because he knew that Saul was defeated because Saul wasn't inquiring of God. Wasn't diligently hackling onto the voice of God. So David, he took his time out, Sister Romilia. And all he wanted to do was what God has to say. Oh yes. That's why the Lord Jesus said in his writings, man shall not live by bread alone. You see, we labor for that which is not me. Because we want bread, my God. I know you're in the house today. We want bread. So we labor it for bread. But David was laboring for the word. I was a miss you. So wanted animals to sacrifice. You wanted to be boss. But David wanted God to be boss. And because David wanted God to be boss, God gave him everything he could think about. Until one day he decided to take something. God didn't give him. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to help somebody right there. He took something. God didn't give him. My God. And God said to David, if you had asked me for it, David, I would have given it to you. Oh, I don't know if you got it. When you put God first, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. But Solomon in his wisdom, he just went right on, head along with his wives, and loving them, loving God. Yeah. Oh, my beloved, where are the Oh, yes. And he had nice words to talk to them. Be careful of the talkers, young ladies. Because the talkers, they will give you swelling words. But that's all you will have. At the end of the day, all you will have is words. Jesus, watch out for the talkers. They are one in the lips, but their sting is as a scorpion. Hallelujah. Let's go fast forward. 
say the kingdom will be divided. That's Amen. So some of you here today, you are fulfilling God's purpose by being here. Amen. But it's not always positive. I don't know if I'm preaching right, but help me today. I come to bring a brother against a sister. So those of you that came with the negative mindset, it can be changed. It can be changed. It can be turned around. Ah, but hallelujah. Positive or negative. If you're on the Lord's side, if you're on Satan's side, you're still in the plan of God. Because you might just be the one God going to use. Amen. To crucify Jesus. To crucify the brethren. Oh, Jesus. So when you see people acting up, you don't always have to say this is a child of God that acting up. You can watch them for who they are. The Bible says, mock them that cause divisions among you. So there will be those that cause division in the church. You just know this is a child of the devil and nobody else. When they start spreading scandal among the brethren, when they start creating division, watch it, watch it. Know them and mock them. Oh yes, oh yes. Don't be like them. Don't go their way. Oh yes. Fulfilling his purpose. Terrible one. Anointing. Solomon dies and his son Rehoboam takes over. And Rehoboam, no fear of God, no fear of man. Oh Jesus. When you will not listen to God and you will not listen to man. Jesus. He shortened his life. He shortened his kingdom. He shortened his blessings. My God, you got to fear something. You got to have a little reference for something. Hallelujah. So he tell the people that ask him to lighten their burden. He tell them, my father gave you burdens, but I will be like a slave master on your back. He afflicted them the more. My God. Put wickedness on the people. So when he sent the tax collector to collect the money, the people stood him. Don't come around there. You're not welcome. And so he, he himself, he run for his life. And the people sent for one of the generals in the army to take over. And here, the wicked general whom God anointed to be king over Judah. Here, the wicked general. He said, if these people who God has put me over, if they go back to Jerusalem to worship, because Royal Warham was ruling in Jerusalem and he was ruling in Judea. If they go up to Jerusalem, back to the temple to worship, their hearts will be turned and they will stay down in Jerusalem. They will not come to me. And if they do come to me, they will come back to kill me. That's why I say we have to let God fight our battles for us. That's it. That's it. Anytime God is not fighting for you, somebody else is. My God, I don't know if you're hearing me today. Anytime God is not the author of what is coming out of your mouth, somebody else is. So the people of the children of Israel, Jeroboam rather, he said, if the people go back up to Jerusalem to worship, they will come back and kill me. But the same energy we take to do the negative, we can use that same energy into positive. The same time we take to sin against God, if we take that same effort 
The same thing, don't, don't put nothing more. My God. Just the same energy. Woo. My God, I heard a fella say he had a girlfriend and he had to walk all the way from Girogel to Marigot behind that girlfriend. When he came back, he had to rest for a whole week. That's it. Take that same one to the church. 
setting up images. Oh, Jesus. Been there for a while, Pastor. And so they figure out if I just do a little dance, can't fool the people. If I do a little jig, oh, yes. And you set up an image, a character. And we manipulate the people into thinking that we are so anointed. We are so connected. Oh yes, we are swelling words. Like I just said. And we feel like we can make it, we can do it. My God. And if he had at least one general to tell him, you know what, you're doing something wrong. But the whole generation followed Jeroboam and go with the flow. And Jeroboam continues with his false religion. And that's why I hear Pastor preaching. Dominica is drunk with religion. My God. Drunk with religion. Yes. That when Jesus shows up, my God, they don't even know it's Jesus. My God, that's it, brother. My God. And you know, the Catholic Church have a way of the first one to be preaching in Israel, the first one to go down to China. The first one to be in Cuba. <laughs> they go in all the antisocial environment and start preaching their gospel. Not the gospel, their gospel. My God. So the children of Israel, their hearts were turned towards false worship and false religion. It took six kings after Jeroboam and they all went down the same line not one said you know what let us turn around my God you are king what you say is final yes hold on yes you know brother Paul the prodigal son. He went his way. But he had enough sense in himself. That when he realized that he was on the wrong track. He was on the wrong road. That he picked up himself and said, You know what? Let me return. Unto my father's house. I can understand the first year Jeroboam made his mistake. And you know what? God does want us, you know. God does give us signs. God does give us wonders. God does perform to show himself to be faithful. And we still take God's silence.
And God raised up a prophet. When he realized that Jeroboam has placed him behind his back. So that's what God said. That's what God said. Some people have placed me behind their back. They don't study my commandments. They don't follow me. They don't inquire of me. My God, they don't study. And you know what happened? God blessed him. He was a servant. And God made him a king. And look at him. What he is doing with his kingship. What he is doing with his authority. I don't know why I like to preach this. My God. I remember when I was a servant. I remember when I was nothing and nobody. When life didn't make sense. Have you ever been there? Yes. Mm. You ever been there? Yes. When you felt empty on the inside? Yes. Oh, when you felt darkness covered you. <laughs> like when darkness covered the face of the deep. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But thank God, through Christ Jesus, who breathed into my spirit. Yes. the church now. The people that have been washed. The people that have been called. Those that have been chosen. Those that have been blessed. Those that have been delivered. Those that have been set free. Those who go.
that you play along with what was going on and you never saw the devil behind it. Oh! So there came a day when God sent the prophet while they were making sacrifices unto their false god. And the prophet said unto them, and he started crying unto the altar. And he said unto the altar, yes, somebody will be sacrificed on you. And I will give a sign that this altar will be broken. And all the ashes will fall down. Yes. My God. Hallelujah. My God. You know you can live around a lie so much that you believe it's the truth. Amen. They say if you don't know something and somebody else tell you about it, you can easily believe. Amen. Because you don't know. Amen. That's how Eve was deceived. Because she didn't know. Bless the Lord. Jeroboam gets so convinced that what he did was right. That when the prophet came and cried against the altar, he speak against the prophet. Yeah. And he lift up his hand to say, is in his hand still? Yeah. My God. Yeah. Uh -huh. I tell people all the time, sometimes we do things for God to cry against us, and the prophet of God, the people of God, the pastor, to cry against us. And when she starts to cry, we speak against her. Never happen to you? Bless God. I say, if you know you do something wrong, hmm? you know you're wrong. Somebody talk bad about you, what you should do? Repent. But we like to be big. Oh, we like to think we're somebody. Oh, we're defending ourselves. So he feel he has to defend his position. Oh, prophet, holy season. And his hand stayed up. And he had to ask the prophet to pray for him. You set it up yourself to 
go in a dry season. Oh my God. When you set up your images and make them your God, you set it up yourself for God to bring you in a dry season. And bring you no rain. And Elijah came unto Ahab and said, Gather the people and gather the prophets. Yeah, gather the people, gather the prophets on Mount Carmel. Then we come to Elijah. And Elijah speaks up to them. And Elijah says, First Kings chapter 18, verse 21. And Elijah came unto the people and said, How long? How long? How long? Come on, talk to me, church. How long? How long? Between two opinions.
We used to follow bear. And bear could not help us. Because when the rains cease, the prophet of bear could not come from the rain. So they say to themselves, something is wrong. Anybody in the house feel like something is not working for you? Because what you've been doing for the longest while is not working. It's not working. It's not working. You've tried it. It kept you through the dry season, through the dark ages. But it's not working. Anybody here today that feel like what they put their trust in is not working? You're in the right place today. You're at the foot of one camel. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes! Because they could not go answer Elijah. Elijah said, I'm going to show you who God is. Uh -huh. You know what I sometimes, when we have our worst thing, that when God shows up himself to be the biggest thing. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So Elijah said, set up, give us two cups. One for me and one for the prophets. And the prophets set up their church. Call on their God. But no answer. No answer. Hallelujah. If there is no answer for you today, it's time to come. Time to come. My God, it's time to come. Don't stay between two opinions. Don't stay between two opinions. It's time to come. Time to come. My God. Hallelujah. I know it wasn't a jumpy word. I know it wasn't a hallelujah. Oh Jesus. But it's time to search our soul. My God. We feel that we need some help. Ah, we feel like we need some strength. <laughs> Oh yes, the things you've been trying was working. Hallelujah. Yes, the position you put yourself in, it wasn't for you. It's time for a change. It's time for a change. Somebody wants strength. Somebody wants strength. But somebody who has set up the image in their life, God wants you to tear it down today. God wants to show you who is God. He wants to show you who is boss. Come on, somebody. I know you're here. I know God called you. Hallelujah. God doesn't send a word and it goes void. Somebody must. Hallelujah. Somebody must hear God's voice today. Talking on their spirit. My God, if a word like that went out, I know God wants me to have some strength. I know God wants me to be 